Hi everyone, welcome to the vlog. Today we got something very special planned. We're uh, gonna go visit the local art center. We were invited to come on down and do some vlogging, so that's what we're gonna do. Real fast, just a quick history of uh, VV, just in case you're not familiar with the area. In 1802, John James DeFour settled over here with dreams of making a winery in the area. He bought land and it became known as New Switzerland. VV was established in 1813 in the New Switzerland area that Mr. DeFour had purchased. Vivi was actually named after uh, the town Vivi in Switzerland. Every year we have a wine festival here. This year the wine festival is August 24th through August 27th if you want to check it out. It's really fun. It's a really great event. There's food, there's rides, there's little Swiss polka dancers, there's live bands, they have a beer garden, and they also have, of course, since it's the wine festival, right, they have a wine tent. Um, but come on down and check that out. Vivi's a great little town. We're located halfway between Cincinnati, Ohio, and Louisville, Kentucky, um, off of exit 55. There's a casino. We're within a 10 minute drive of a NASCAR track, uh, the Kentucky Speedway. There's Marklin Dam, which is a pretty cool engineering feat along the Ohio River. Um, there's the historic Hoosier Theater in downtown VV. Uh, there's also the historic Shank Mansion. And uh, they also have a very active, vibrant Main Street. And every first Friday they have uh, events down there from the local businesses. They stay open extra long and um, everyone can come down and check out the businesses and stuff like that. It's, it's really cool. It's really fun. The art center that we're going to go see is located on Main Street at the corner of Main and Ferry. And it's in the historic Grizzard building. Now that building's namesake, Frederick Grizzard, was a blacksmith by trade. He moved to Vivian in 1818, and he was a very successful businessman. Well, I think that's enough for now of the history. Let's get to going and check out some art. Okay, everyone, we made it to downtown Vivi. Didn't we, Nathan? And there's Lauren. Check out this cool picture. Stuff everywhere. It's really cool. Check it out. We made it all down here. If you can see, this is Main Street, VV. Pretty cool. But anyway, the place we're going is right back here. Yeah, this is the art center. Yeah, they got some pretty cool stuff in there. Uh, yeah, they got some pretty cool stuff out here too. They made a fan with bikes. They made a fan with bikes. It's kind of cool, isn't it? You like the purple one? Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's the community art center right here, Switzerland County. They're open. It's actually right here. The only soft light that you'll come to in Vivi is right here at Ferry and Main. And right over here, towards the river, is the art studio. And the park is down there. All right, everyone, we made it inside the uh, art center here in Vivi, and this place is amazing. I mean, there's awesome art everywhere. And this is Tim right over here. So Tim, you invited us down here. Is, uh, is there anything you wanted to like tell us or any inf awesome information you want to give us uh, about the art center? Well, we have a collection of around 30, 31 artists. Uh, they're all within about 60 miles. There are a few that are a little out of that. Is there, I know you have an event coming up, right? Uh, yeah, in May on the 6th and 7th, we are having the art tour, uh, which is uh, a lot of the local artists will either be here at the community art center. Uh, we're gonna have some set up on the streets. Uh, local artists will have their homes open to the public. And So that's like local in the area, right in town or just all over Switzerland County they'll have? Uh, well, it's kind of all over. Okay, um, cool. The visitor center will have maps available. And, and the visitor center, just in case you guys uh, are wondering, uh, remember how I said this is Ferry and Main right out here? The visitor center, if you just keep on going up Main Street just a little bit further, it's right on up here at the other end of the street. In the old Phoenix Hotel. 
It is in the old Phoenix Hotel. That's and the artist here is David Beardmore. And does David have? Is this all David's section right over here? Yeah. Okay. Cool. Does he do? I notice this is a lot of uh, looks like um, local area yeah. stuff here. Uh, yeah, he does a lot of architectural paintings. Is that in Lawrenceburg? Oh, that right there. Yeah. yeah. That's a yeah. Good eye, buddy. I think that's uh, Aurora, right? Oh, yeah. The Rainbow Feed right there in Aurora. Yeah. Okay, so who's the featured artist this month? Uh, this month we have Bev Wiley. She is our potter. And Bev throws her pottery on a traditional kick wheel. So she even, is this even Bev's right here? This, uh, uh, yeah. wow. The jewelry. the jewelry too? Cool. So she's got a whole selection here. This is pretty awesome, actually. Yeah, she does um, housewares and home decor and jewelry. And all this is Bev as well over here? Yes. She's got a little honey pot here. <laughs> it's pretty cool. All right. Who else do we have up here? We got. Uh, well, we have Nancy Dornbush. Okay. She's our photographer. She's got some awesome pictures there. I like the bubbles. I don't know why, but that one's drawing me in. <laughs> the bubbles are a lot of fun. We have our wood turner, which is Lou Coggill. Okay. And Lou will actually be set up. I believe demonstrating during the art tour. Well, he's got some wands and everything. That's pretty awesome. Now, is is Lou from around the area or is he outside the area? Or? Um, he's from Vivi. He's from Vivi? Yeah. Cool. And then um, our stained glass artist, Mary Brown. And she'll be here during the first day of the art tour. Okay. Is she local as well? or? Uh, yes. And then on the back wall here, you have uh, the local high school art, which um, that is our featured show for May. So every month you do like a different featured show and, and May is the local high school. That's pretty yes. awesome. And generally every year in May is our student art. These eggs and are the, cool. Oh yeah, uh, the eggs are done by Marty McGraw. She is our polymer clay artist. Those are pretty amazing. And Does she the, do all this or is this? Yeah, this okay. is her section. Um, the eggs are actually real chicken eggs. Um, usually this technique is done for hand-painted keepsake type egg. Um, and then the sculpture here is done by Ted Brown, um, Mary's husband. He does all the steel work. We've got some more pieces of his over on the show floor. Okay. And then uh, Lily Wingham. And then Richard, this is part of Richard Leaps. Um, for this past December, he was our featured artist, and he brought us a timeline from pastoral scenes to steampunk. Um, and these are a few examples of his steampunk and 3D down the rabbit hole. And he achieves the 3D imagery in his paintings by a color combination. Sweet, yeah, I can. It really does look pretty 3D. Ronald DeVore. Okay, this is Ronald DeVore over here. And then on he this looks side, very nature. Is he very? He paints nature scenes and stuff yeah. like that. A lot of our artists are um, do a lot of pastoral scenes and nature. Um, on this wall, we have Harry Elber. Uh huh. He was actually our guest featured artist um, for last month, and. He is now a member. Now, I know last time we were in here, we looked at this table, and I don't know if you guys could see it, but this thing is, okay. it's very, three. it has a very 3D effect with the shimmering and just the way that all the metal is done in there. Who did this one? Uh, this is actually by Ted Brown as well. Oh, Ted Brown as well. I wouldn't mind this sitting in the house. It's really pretty. It doesn't, I, I can I can guarantee the camera isn't doing it justice right now, but that that is uh, very, very amazing. Back here in this corner, we have Martha Bladen. Okay. Um, she is actually one of our local historians. Uh, she works with the Historical Society, helps run the museum. Martha does stamp quilts, and she also makes uh, quilt patterns out of um, found printed objects. And there's a whole bunch of stamps up there. That's pretty. Um, different beer cartons. And oh, okay, so those are beer cartons. And this is actually part of her uh, Don't Quilt and Drive series. Oh. <laughs> no, that's funny. Is this paper mache or are we... Yes, we have paper mache, clay, or paper mache and clay, I'm sorry. And these are the local uh, Switzerland County High School students. 
Awesome. So is this is, is this another part of that feature then? Yes. Okay. Yes. So they do all kinds of different types of medians. It see it seems like. Yeah. And we will have, uh, like I said, more um, for the show. Um, this is just what we've gotten from the local school. Cool. It's very neat. They're very talented kids up there. Yeah, I always love seeing their paper mache over here. Okay, now this chicken right here is like kind of starting to make me crack up. He... <laughs> this is uh, Spike Frederick, and he does he does like comical animals, and uh, his stuff is a lot of fun. But um, as the years progress, he's brought us some architectural <laughs> paintings, and uh, he brought us these foxes which are kind of cool okay and uh yeah sweet and then this is bonnie Pucho. she is actually a school teacher uh, which her school will be here okay uh richard drake uh, does a variety of art um he's got paintings uh, carvings and he does like is this tiki his down here too yes yes oh that's cool um, and he also did the oh that pole right there you see the uh, yeah right there guys it's a whole huge tiki pole that's pretty neat and then he shares this area with mike danner okay this is mike danner's work and is that a self-portrait <laughs> yes and most people know mike from the local danner's hardware right is, are these all oil paintings yes okay cool um, as far as I know, he primarily only works in oil. <laughs> oh, the Delta Queen. That's come up the Ohio River time or two. Oh, he did the courthouse. This is the courthouse of downtown Vivi. And then this is more of Richard Leap's work. Oh, okay. Very, the 3D stuff again, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, he does the range from pastoral to steampunk. And he's actually working on a new piece. Uh, I believe it's steampunk. So I'm looking forward to that. I, I will have to say here, did, did someone do these too or the, uh, the chandeliers or is that just... If I remember correctly, when Tourism remodeled, they actually purchased these in Cincinnati. Okay. Well guys, what's your favorite, other than Dabby, what's your favorite thing you have, you saw in here today? I liked everything. You liked everything? So Tim. People can just come on down and buy this art, right? Uh, yeah, and we are open Sunday through Thursday from noon to four, Friday 10 to six, and Saturday 10 to four. Sweet, so if you saw something you like, come on down here to VB Indiana and pick it up. They got some great pieces in here. Okay, everyone, we made it back from the uh, art center in downtown VB. If you guys get a chance, definitely go check that place out. It's amazing. Lots of great artists, uh, lots of great work they did down there. And like Tim said, any of that stuff is for sale. So if you want, if you saw something you like, come on down and pick, pick up a piece. You're supporting the local artists in the area. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time. Peace and love.